Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bird's Eye Plays. Little Hope. I want to make a formal apology for this because I do feel like this is becoming a different playthrough because I, I'm so focused on the story and watching what's in the background to see if I notice any of the like the scary stuff in the background um, that I feel like I'm not giving enough commentary and I do apologize for that. Um, I'll try to do better, but maybe they can help. Let's head over. I can't promise anything. Let me help you. Because, yeah, I do feel that I'm not doing as good as I should be when it comes to the commentary. Jump! I was, like, really hoping a creature would be behind him or something as he jumped. Yeah, it's like I'm now looking for every nook and cranny in the places where I, I expect so someone to be. Down. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Well, who fucking knows? Okay, there's a thing over there. A thing over there. A grocery store or something. Hiya! Stop the Ravenden factory closure. Okay. There's like a bunch of different secrets here. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Okay, guess I missed a bunch of stuff, but whatever. Alright. Please give me control over her so I can finish exploring Seriously? down there. You're going in there? Well do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Yeah, don't look at me like that. Will do. Look at her. Be right back. Don't break the fourth Promise. wall like that. You dick. Oh, yeah, that's not terrifying. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. Nice catch. You know, you could have just, you know, walked back down the stairs and she could have handed it to you, but, you know. Sure. Quick time event. I'm in. Kinky. Is it safe? Think so. No. I don't want to be here. The notice of closure. Uh, the store will close. Business. Stuck to remove. Snacks, magazines, alcohol, blah, blah. Uh, cans, electric goods, and miscellaneous. So is that the stuff that's still in the store? Oh, boy, am I going to hate this. Okay, so I can't go in there. Well, it can't go down the stairs. What was that? A knife. Okay. So that's a new premonition. A ritual blade. Okay. Yoink! Local minister arrested. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Satanic mass. A mass. Uh, uh, this is. Reverend Carson was a good man, a godly man. Uh, 
Okay. So he was accused by the little girl of witchcraft. Which he did study, but only to... warn others of its potential danger. Hello? Anyone there? Like other spiritual issues. Okay, I was once again expecting something behind me. Flashlights? Yeah, give me a fucking minute, will you? Can I go in there? Oh god. Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Okay, I thought that shape was a person. Like that wasn't just me, right? That looked like a fucking person. The shadow of it. I hate this. Oh shit. Fuck. Can I... No, I don't want to do that. I'm... Hello? Who's there? <gasps> Jesus! Fuck you. You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? <sighs> this place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass, useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Okay. Foreboding. How dare you? Hold on. I'll be right there. Yeah, give me a minute. I'm looking around for shit. So is that what knocked over? And because of that, I can't access what's back there or something? Will you relax? I'm coming. That's what she said. Oh God! Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? Tell me, what is happening? Someone will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? Talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumors are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child, for sure, but this is beyond her. 
Joseph, this ends fancy. We should not open up. We'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Every cover. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. <laughs> you will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. What the fuck? Why are you not saying anything? What's up? You saw something else, right? Maybe. This was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? Priest. One from the playground. I don't know. It, it didn't make much sense. You're kidding me. No. He was real scared. Like, he believed the devil was in Little Hope. Holy shit. What in the hell are we mixed up in here? Oh. We really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. Oh, God. What the hell? What do you think? Let's look around. Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. Uh, this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small town police stations all look the same. There's gotta be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. Place is dead. Just like the rest yeah, so this is where we came from. Wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Especially now that I got some premonition stuff. Jesus, I hate you. Why do I do this to myself? What? Well, oh, God. Okay. Yes, there we go. Now we can come out the door. Yeah, why do I do this to myself? Oh, there's so much shit around here. Okay. Um. Albatross. Any of the accused. The old witch Gile. There's gotta be some A phone. We have a winner. Found a phone. I should have just skipped past that. Because there was still other stuff Let's to look at. Way out. Mine's dead. 
Calm down, John. Shit! Whoa! Dude. Hey. Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. Yeah, who knows? Maybe if you would shut the fuck up and calm down. Bruh. I know that looked important, but it's probably another story-related thing. Nope. That's locked. Don't give up. Feel we're about to find something. Yeah, probably. We oui. Ah, a secret. We can view most of those later. Radio. I thought this was her way out. Hmm. I know for a fact that I'm going to probably get attacked by that creature again. Angela's ghost or whatever the fuck it is. Okay. I came from that direction. What's in here? I haven't been in here yet. Some lockers. Wait for it. Oh! Reynolds. Ryan? I couldn't do anything with it. Lame. God. <laughs> Fucking damn, dude. What do you think? Answer it. Yes. I can do this. Be careful. It's a phone. Don't stress it, Professor. It's a phone. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Okay. Cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. I'm on it. I can't hear Tell what's me happening. Exactly where you are. are. Are you are you in town someplace? Oh. God! Get off of me! Fucking... Hmm. God damn my heart. Come here, girl. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil word shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night, and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time is gone begging. Go be with your kin. 
I beseech this court and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. Just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best, will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. Uh, who? Yeah. Approach them. Shit. I beg you, good judge. Let us conclude our business here without further ado. Lest we afford the forces of darkness the opportunity to bend these proceedings to their will. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What the? Stay out of this. What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor no. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're on? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me so? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. If I am correct, your touch will release her from this affliction. It must be so if you are the one who bewitched her. Leave her alone! Who speaks? Who's there? God preserve us. Please. The master cannot help you now. It is too late. Who is that? They are here among us. They are here among us. No. What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. You little shit. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. That woman, my double? What's she looking at if the trial goes against her? The sentence for confirmed witches in Little Hope was always brutal. Violent death, drowning... Hanging, burning. Let's hope she is, or was, found innocent. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl, who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the ship. That woman might double very distressed, almost traumatized. Yeah. It was tough to watch, for sure. Yeah. I noticed something else weird. Her husband? He looked a lot like you, Professor. The two people with that little brat look just like Daniel and Taylor. What the hell does all this mean? 
guess we'll find out. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! We can't either! They must be locked. Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one. Oh, shit. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the moment. Let's try again. Put everything you've got into it. There we go. What's up, guys? Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Still think splitting up was a smart move? I would say I'm now more open to exploring other options. I'm glad you two are finding this funny. Personally, I think we're in deep shit here. You know what happened to your double, right? She was accused of witchcraft. Not just accused. Tried, found guilty, and condemned. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. Which is... What the hell? Which is... Oh, <laughs> which is... I get it. So where are we going? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. It's already been a hell of a night, but I'm sure we'll pull through. The geeky exterior is all play. There's a warrior in there. Thanks. Um, there they are. Okay, I'm not playing as anyone right now. Now I am. Johnny Boy! This fog is getting worse. Agreed. Oh. Doing the bridge again. Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. You know what I'm waiting for at some point? I'm waiting at some point where I turn around and one of them is missing. Uh oh. Can't see for shit. Wait. Oh, oh God. Water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Wow. Racist. Okay. Who's first up? Hmm. John. Doctor, you keep telling us you're in charge. So. Okay. Sure thing. Is it safe to cross? The authority figure. Okay. Don't stress. The professor and me will make sure you get across, no problem. Right, we'll, we'll get you over for sure. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I've got to keep an eye out for... for the buttons. Ow, that was my jaw that just popped. Whoa, okay. Oh god, the fog again. My god. What do we do? We can't stay here. You weren't there before. Um. Uh, 
year of our Lord, 1692. We are here present to bear witness to a just execution. No! Amy is declared guilty of consorting with the devil and is to be drowned as a witch and sorceress. Let us pray in silence for her soul. I've done no wrong. I am no witch. I do not deserve death. I beg you. I don't know how to help you. Tell me what I can do. Please, sir. You must help me. You must. The devil is in the wind, seeking to help his own. He would release her from the chains. Isaac, let us conclude our business here swiftly. The will of the court must be imposed before it's too late. The devil fortifies her. You must bind her tightly. You cannot do this! Isaac, I am innocent. fulfill the will of the court. Send this witch back into the lap of her master, lest he comfort Lord. us all. Little Orp is already lost, shrouded in evil. But not as you claim from witchcraft or outside demons, we are poisoned from within. You will not save yourself with riddles. There is no riddle. The devil takes many forms. You know that better than any. In Little Orp, he has hid himself under a shroud of innocence, taken the form of a child by a cute. While Mary still draws breath, little hope remains beyond salvation. There lies your evil reference to your very thing. Isaac. Damn. Jesus Christ. Uh-oh. What did you see? Tell me. I don't know how to tell you what I just saw. Your double was pushed into the river in chains. She drowned. Uh-oh. Something's coming. Oh, the premonition! The chains! Are we each gonna die the way... our ancestors did? Or something like that? I'll go first. <clears throat> okay, you two, get on down here. <clears throat> yeah, something's coming. What the fuck? What the hell is that? I don't know, I can't see a thing. There we go. What is that thing? It's her. Get the hell out of there! It's Amy. Coming after Amy. Not John.
Yeah, there we go. Cool. I kept her alive. Thank you, premonition. And I also think the fact that I know it's a it's Amy's. That's Amy's corpse. Chasing her. Damn. Pausing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next time on Bird's Eye, hopefully we can figure out just, uh... What the hell? It always seems to be that. Just what the hell? I'll see you guys next time.